Sweet Peas youth. We have been having an awesome summer so far, and I would love to invite you to three things that we are going to be doing this July. The first one is come hang out at the church on Wednesdays. From 12.30 to 2, we have our lunch and Bible study, and so we are working through the book of James. You don't have to have any experience in reading the book of James or come every week. It's a drop-in style group, so I invite you to come to that. Also, bring a lunch with you. We provide some snacks, so, you know, just come for the snacks, honestly. So, each week we try to do a different snack food, so it's pretty awesome, pretty awesome. Um, the second part of our Wednesday afternoons, from 2 to 4, we have an open gym. So, we have got a pickleball court set up in there. We've got a uh, half court of basketball, as well as I'd invite you like bring your volleyballs, bring your footballs, like whatever sport is your jam and you wanna come play, come bring it. So we'd love to have you there. This is also a great spot to maybe invite some friends um, because it's awesome and we love friends and more people make the teams more even. So literally like bring five or six friends with you when you come on Wednesdays from 1230 to two, if you wanna come for Bible study and lunch and then from two to four, if you want to come for open gym or just stay the whole afternoon, you are welcome here. The second thing that we are going to be doing this summer is on July 31st, over here at, I'm checking my notes, 7.30 to 10. It's gonna be a little bit of a late night. We are hosting an outdoor movie night. And if you're going, man, that date sounds familiar. You wanna know why? It's Harry Potter's birthday. So we are watching the very first Harry Potter movie. There might be a snack connected to the movie and the fact that it's his birthday. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. It might be pink and green. You never know if you're a Harry Potter fan, you know what that means and if you're not a harry potter fan and you just want to come hang out come hang out we're going to be outside um if it's uh i wouldn't be sunny out because it's at night but if it's nice out we'll be outside and then we will be in the gym if it is rainy or the ground is muddy so bring a lawn chair or a blanket to come sit on bring whatever snacks um that you want to bring and i'd invite you bring some friends to that it's a super easy way we're just going to be hanging out watching the first harry potter movie and i have bought us a giant inflatable movie screen and so like it's gonna be a legit movie i don't know about you guys that is one of the things in the pandemic that i have missed so so much the last thing and the thing that i am super stoked to tell you guys about is our flocking fundraiser and so a giant herd of pink flamingos has taken over the St. Bee's lawn and for some donations that are all going to go to our mission trip, hopefully for summer of 2022 or 2023, if we have to go there, um, you can bring the flock to your house, hence a flocking fundraiser. So for a donation, um, we're gonna leave it open to y'all for what you'd like those donation amounts to be. You can have the flock come to your house or if you wanna send the flock to a friend's house who might need some joy and a small herd of pink flamingos in their front yard, you can send it to their house. Um, we are, me, Phil, and then we are also looking for some youth to come join us um, to go flock people's yards every night. And so the flock is gonna move all around Nashville every single night for the week of July 11th through the 17th. So keep an eye out. You'll see it on social media for where the flock is headed. And so we'd love for you to come join in the fun for that, whether it's sending the flock to your house or to a friend's house, or if you are a youth and want to come join us email me or text me and I would love to sign you up for a night to come flocking with us. We'll go grab ice cream after and so it should be a really wonderful time. The second way you can participate, if you're like, Alicia, oh my gosh, it's so great, but we are away that week, you know, we can't admire the flock if it was at our house, is you can adopt a flamingo for $5 
and you can name that flamingo. So we have got a herd of 48 flamingos. They all need names. So for $5 a piece, you can name as many flamingos as you want. We ask that they are grandma approved and church appropriate. Um, punny names are also welcome. If you want to do a first, middle, last, just one name, whatever you want. We will put little stickers with your flamingos names of saying, hi, my name is so-and-so. I'm adopted by, and then we'll pop your name on there. So that's a great way to join in the fun if you are not in town that week. And so from the time you are seeing this movie up until July 8th, we are taking flamingo names and flocking um, registration. So get signed up. There's a link to the form for the flocking fundraiser, as well as a sign up for our movie night, as well as if you have not registered for Bible study or open gym, feel free to pop it in that Google form. That more lets us know emergency contact for y'all um, when you come here on site, especially if you've got friends. Um, all of those links are down in the description of this video. Last thing that I want to tell you guys about is fall is coming. I, I know I hate to say that in the middle of your summer break, but fall is coming. And so with that, I want to let you know about three dates to make sure you get on your calendar. The very first one is on August 8th. We are going to be having our blessing of the backpacks and both of our services here at St. Beast's. So come, let us pray for you that Sunday. Also a heads up, if youth, your parents will bring you and you're like, wait, you want me to go up front? Here's your warning that that is going to be happening um, on August 8th. The second thing I want to let y'all know about is that on July 19th in our youth formation email that we send out as well as I'll be updating the website. We are going to give you guys a full year calendar for youth ministry. That's gonna include some trips that we've got on the book, some fun events and activities, um, and just some more details about what that Sunday morning formation schedule is going to look like. So keep your eyes peeled for that. You'll get an email, you'll get a text message, and we'll talk a little bit about it in our back to school video that we will make. So keep your eyes peeled for that date. And the last thing is that formation, so Sunday morning formation is going to return in the formation hour between the services on September 12th. We'll have some more details as to what does that look like for us to gather together um, a little bit later on in the summer, but just wanted to get that on y'all's calendar that formation is coming back. We're going to hang out every week. And so with that, mark those dates, get signed up for July events, and we will see y'all soon. Bye.